Here we are, day three of Aftershock, Chasta and Baby Huey 1077 The Bone with Scott from Rival Sons. How's it going? It's going fantastic. How you, are you guys? You today? look fantastic. Well, thank you. So do you. You bring the thank you. That's that means too kind. a lot, but you're just being <laughs> kind. Um, it, you know, I just want to start out the gate. Look, I love Rival Sons. Love, love, love. Always have. Always will. Thank you. But you guys, like, you bring the fashion with the rock and roll. And I want to say... <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate you. That I appreciate that. Yeah, effort. there's a lot of appreciation going on here. <laughs> Let's keep that mood rolling. It's a low fest. I love it. But I mean, like, is this your brainchild? Like, for all of you, like, what? How does that work? Do you have stylists? Do you do this by Who yourself? influences this? Who influences yeah. it? No, it's all personal. It's all it. personal. We all just do our own thing. That's great. I yeah. need to step up my game, man. Well, I was asking. There's a <laughs> reason I brought this up. Okay. Our boneheads already know. We've I like been... this pomp, though. This looks nice, man. I rocked the pomp hard for a while. Yeah? I'm in a long hair phase right now, but the pomp looks nice. Thank you. And this was in a hurry. I, yeah. I didn't have time to dry it. No, it's nice, Because, you know, when you put, uh, you know, your pomade in, yeah. when it's wet, it kind of, like, sorry, Chas, I know you don't. It's all this male it's, hair it's, stuff. It's totally yeah. fine. I'm no. here for it. You gotta. It's better to put it in dry, so it's easier to comb it out and stuff. So you, I was gonna, the, I was you a, get the proper lift. Yes, I was in a the hurry today lift. to get yeah. over here in time. So yeah, it was wet out of the shower and just put it in. Yeah. No, sh called, no shame whatsoever. Thank you. you. It, it looks nice. Still appreciate it. He's yeah. called the best hair in radio. That's <laughs> yeah. like his nickname. So you, <laughs> like already, you already know. But the reason <laughs> I brought up the fashion is it. There actually is a purpose. So we've been in what we've been calling the summer of Huey. We, I, I'm, I'm making him grow up. Okay. I turned 40 last year, so finally growing. Up I down. made him get rid of the Axe body spray, and we're like started to God like bless you. dive That's into nice. fashion. You. So I feel <laughs> like he could take a note from from you. Like he, you know, he's looking at different rock stars for different fashion. Okay. So what kind of fashion Let's, advice can we can we give him? Well, I'll say right out of the gate, um, fashion is defined by uh, uh, what you love and what you feel steps out and defines your personal energy yes. so I mean there's so many outlets nowadays back in the day you would have had to buy these certain magazines but now you're just looking online everywhere and you're gonna see maybe some famous people maybe some regular people just walking around the city or something like that's hot I like that yes well that's what yes. happened so we were at a uh, bottle rock back in May up in Napa saw Josh Queens of Stone Age on stage and I was like Josh that is, is great of, oh honestly, my god that's what kind of started there's this the whole pump thing. yeah yeah yes. but uh, the way yeah. he had his hair slicked and back and the pearl snap shirt but they, I, all the guys in Queens got it down they're, they're all friends of mine yes. I love those guys they look good I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm not saying I've influenced, but I passed on a few things to those guys. Ah, my, me and my it. boy Troy, I hooked him up with a couple friends. So, <laughs> but no, I I, I got some suits and boots, guys. I turned them on to. Oh, Ooh, I, I might that. need that. You need his suits <laughs> and boots. Guys. I saw the shirt, and I, I I told Chas, "What kind of shirt is that?" And you immediately know what it, knew Pearl what it was. Yeah. So I went and bought a couple online and we wore it to our various <laughs> station events and stuff. But no, I I felt more manly just wearing it. I just the confidence. confidence. Exactly. So there you go. That's yeah. the other thing, right? You feel confident. You feel good. Good, man yeah. i know i got we're on the weight <laughs> stuff but yeah it's a, it's a process so no even by next summer i might even just be more badass I'm oh calling absolutely it, i'm calling it now look good feel good <laughs> yes. all right let's talk about music that's actually what we're here to do uh so you're right in the middle of a tour we're at the end are we're done you're, you're, actually are you done i thought it was like next week i'm flying home today are you flying oh, this oh wow is it? i'm flying home after i play today oh my god yeah. well how does that feel fantastic i bet yeah i like, got a family at home yeah. i miss them it's I actually stopped in I'm, I'm in Huntington Beach, and I um, mm -hmm. came in. We had two days off in Dallas, and I came in and just, since we had a couple of days off, yeah. flew home, and then f the next date was L.A. Okay. So I just that's great. drove to the gig. You're in Huntington Beach? That's right. What a great place to be. It's all right. It's, I used to live down in L.A. I love that area. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, what's not to love? Yeah. <laughs> so it's lovely finishing up the tour. Uh, super successful tour. We did a... Uh, you were out with Clutch. We did a co-headline yeah. with Clutch yeah. and had uh, our friends at Fu Manchu and yeah. also Black Stone Cherry come out. And actually had my friend, uh, my dear friend, Dean Del Rey open up in L.A. Oh, fantastic. And um, so it's been great. It's been great. Oh, that's great. So you, or is it like a, a big collective? <sighs> Absolutely. Like, <laughs> yeah, and it's bad. also, it's it's bittersweet. Like, we're happy to go home. We breathe yeah. out. We feel like we've accomplished something. Yeah. At the same time, we're uh, leaving the tour. Yeah. And I, I love my band. I love my crew. I love the crowds. I love playing uh, and making music and staying uh, on our toes and improvisational every night. Yeah. And when we go home, that goes away. So... It yeah. doesn't matter how long we've been doing it. We still uh, crave it and miss each other's attention on and off stage in our, our, our company, you know? That's so cool. So for you guys, what's it mean to come out to a festival like Aftershock? Aftershock has become a NorCal institution. Staple institution. Yeah, for the last 10, 11 years now. Yeah. 
uh, known for the hard rock, the metal. Yeah. So for you guys, is that a little intimidating? Be like, okay, like Slayer, uh, Slayer, no, no, like uh, your, your inti- sound and in, the fans intimidation out there. isn't really the word. It's uh, we've kind of somehow been on a uh, what I call a rival sons island for the last fifteen years. Okay. Uh. Uh, we're, we're, we're somewhat of a black sheep, you know, there's yeah. not really a rock and roll scene per se. It's really like metal and active rock, which is basically yeah. metal. Yeah. Yeah. And then it jumps over to a alternative and that's, you know, the barely even people holding guitars anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we're in this between void here. It's called rock and roll. People yeah, forgot yeah, about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, they have it. Not so, in our heads, not in our space, yeah. but you're leading the charge in that realm. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're making our absolute best contribution yeah. and when we do festivals like this there's not really a rock and roll festival to do so we do something like this and sure. i feel just like oh okay there's going to be a lot of uh black pants and black <laughs> shirts and like studs and leather there's my, gonna, there's my gonna, outfit there's, yes yes I, I love your outfit yes. it's okay <laughs> and I'm, i like i'm not saying anything's bad right. i'm just saying it's like you know we're gonna be in a in that metal world sure. hardcore and yeah. we're gonna do something different i actually made the decision right before we came out let's play like a 10 minute song let's play a song called feral roots at this festival because we're gonna improvise and we're gonna do it as we go tonight it'll be something that people won't get today yeah so that's that that's my instinct it's almost to play ballads and uh 10 minute like jams <laughs> i love it <laughs> Grateful Dead it up in here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, lo- I love that idea. Well, it's good. It's like lean in. When you talk about like jamming on stage, how locked in are you guys? Like, do you, how much freedom do you give to, to bounce around? Talking to Hailstorm yesterday, or f- first day here. Yeah. They were just talking about one time they went off and they did it. Love thought, those guys. Great oh, people. Phenomenal. Amazing. Yeah, dear friends. They, they were Amazing. watching the clock and apparently the clock had stopped. They thought they were way early. So they were like, oh my God, we have 11 minutes to fill. Yeah. So they just like looked at each other and they were like, just go. Wild cards. It, yeah. yeah. Just right? started jamming extra long. But then they yeah. realized people were yelling, wrap it up. And the clock was totally off and they had gone like 10 minutes over. <laughs> Rule breaker. <laughs> yes. I know, right? Exactly. So how is it like about with you guys, like jamming and just... We're yeah. 100% keyed in. Yeah. We're uh, improvisational. We're get, Are we getting the wrap-up right now? Are we? I don't Speaking know. Speaking of wrap-up, we're, wrap up, we're the getting the wrap-up. We're just getting started. I, I'm like getting the Grammy music. <laughs> I just started talking. It's playing. We hear it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're conscious of time. Yes. Yes. But we've gone over a f- few clocks in our day, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll say about that. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It's rock and roll after all, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Well, we do we do need to wrap it up, but we do have one more question for you. It's our favorite question. Okay. It's from the film Almost Famous. Uh-huh. Uh, the last frame of that film, the question is asked, what do you love about music? Uh, I, I love that music brings people together i love that in a world of a seemingly uh, very divisive time mm-hmm. that's divided uh, politically and religiously yeah. and by by uh, hundreds of thousands of other things when people come to enjoy music live music specifically they they forget those things that divide us and they remember the things that bring us together that yeah. make us similar and uh somehow it fills people's hearts with love and happiness and uh, I guess at, at heart, I'm a complete hippie, and yes. I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah. And uh, I think love is the answer, and I think music is uh, a gateway to that kind of love. You're making me teary over here. I'm I'm a total hippie too. So yeah. cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs> love and music will heal all. Well, thank you for your contribution. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And we appreciate everything you do to bring more of that out into the world. Because God bless. That's what's going to save us. Thank you. If guys. anything will save it, it'll be that. Yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> and you're going to save me. I'm going to DM you for some more fashion <laughs> advice. <laughs> you got it, <'em>, ma'am. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>